is, is a former military guy, and he was convinced, because uh, he watches the news, that the atmosphere was going to collapse, and he needed to get in there and tell Obama about it. But you know what struck me was what they did. They tried to get rid of the guy. They tried to throw the guy back on the other side of the fence. They tried to get him out of the White House grounds. They tried to throw him out of the White House. I thought we're supposed to welcome people who jump fences. I suppose I thought we're supposed to welcome people who crash our borders and something, but be nice to them. You know, maybe put them on the welfare system or something. Well, now look, the White House fence is an affront to justice. I mean, I, I, how could he, that that fence is a symbol? Is it says we don't want you here? And boy, when somebody jumps the fence, what's the first thing a Secret Service try to nab them and throw them back to the equivalent of Mexico? Why didn't they welcome the guy in? Why didn't they say, glad you just came out of the shadows, pal. We're happy to finally know who you are, and we want to make you a full-fledged citizen. Why didn't they do that? I thought we were a welcoming nation. I thought people who crossed boundaries did it with love. I thought they did it because they wanted to become Americans. They wanted to live the American dream. I mean, we're all citizens of the world, and we all share the wealth. Why does some poor guy, obviously with a mental disorder, jumps the White House fence immediately get thrown back?